Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever favorites video and I'm so excited to film this for you guys. Um, I have a lot of stuff so let's just get right into it. So, sorry, I, I should be sponsored by Kavita. Can you guys sponsor me because I drink this like every single day. It's ridiculous. So anyway. Let's get into it. Um, it's hot here. So I have the fan off and I just want to get right through it. Put this up for you guys. So yeah. So I'm going to start with skincare. And what I have here is some stuff from Paula's Choice. I'm obsessed. You guys know that. Especially if you've been following me on Instagram forever. I always post about their products. So uh, a couple of my favorites are their skin clearing products. Which is really good for acne. And then for the summer and for year round, I use this. It's their Resist Super Light Wrinkle super Daily Wrinkle Defense, and it's an SPF, and it keeps my skin matte, and I love it. I would highly recommend for the summer and for all year round, especially if you're oily. Um, and then the next thing I have is also from Paula's Choice, and it's kind of random, but I use this all the time. It's their Resist Weightless Body Treatment. And if you have, I have keratosis pilaris on my arms. So if you have keratosis pilaris or if you have, if you have any body acne anywhere, I would highly recommend this product. And I will leave my code down below and it gets you, well, it's not, it's not a code, it's a link. And anyone can sign up for it. It's just a referral program, but it'll get you $10 off your first order. So moving on, um, for the summertime, I love this product. It is the Schmitz deodorant, and this one is bergamot and lime, and I think this is good all year round, but especially during the summer because it doesn't fade away, it keeps you smelling good, and this is honestly the best natural deodorant I've ever found, ever. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Next is kind of random, but I wanted <laughs> to show you guys this wet brush, and I love it. It makes my skin look nice and soft. Um, I have color treated hair and it can look kind of like ready towards the end but this you know brushes right through it and if it's wet too and I love it. I don't know about are they cruelty free like do, are they owned by someone bad? I don't know if you guys know let me know but I bought it so sorry I didn't really do much research on it. I know that they do have like boar bristles or something like that in some of their products so all of their products aren't vegan, which is weird, but this one is good and it's, I guess it's synthetic. So if you know anything about their brand, please let me know. Um, and if, it, if they're not, then I will definitely look for a dupe. So next thing to prime my face is this e.l.f. Prime, not Prime, Poreless, it's not Too Faced. <laughs> this Poreless Face Primer. And you see it. Um, I love this. It totally vanishes my pores and it works really great. Um, next to wash my beauty blender and my brushes every day, I've been using the Dr. Bronner um, solid soap and this is great. Gets my sponges really nice and clean and I love that. And now let's kind of get into the makeup because I have a lot of makeup that I've been really loving. So my god, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with base products. Um, yeah, I have, a lot, I have a lot of stuff. So, the first thing I have been doing is I have been taking the e.l.f. or the e.l.f. Acne Finding Foundation in Porcelain, which is a little bit too dark for my skin, and the Wet n Wild Foundation in Fair, which is a little bit too light for my skin, or yeah. It's late for my skin right now because, you know, it's summer and I've been out in the sun a little bit more than I would like to be, but I don't have any choice. I would, I would love to never go in the sun because I really don't want to ruin my skin. Um, I love the sun, but I don't want to ruin my skin. I've already, I'm, I'm almost 30, so I've started to see some changes in my skin and I'd rather keep that to a minimum. So I try not to go out into the sun, so I'm really pale, but this combination is so good and I would highly recommend it if you are fair if you are neutral I have like both pink and yellowy 
and I pull quite neutral, so I would definitely try this combination and see if it works out for you. Next, I have a couple concealers, and this has become my holy grail. Oh my god, this Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. This is the shit. Like, honestly, can you see my under eyes? I, I don't think you really can because this, this stuff is so good. And my under eyes are so bad. Like, it looks like they sink into my skin. And even if I put a lot of concealer or foundation over it, it doesn't really do a lot. But this helps so much. Um, next thing, this has been a favorite for like two years. This OCC concealer. Ah, so good. This is in R0, and what I do with this is I just put it like underneath my eyes, up my nose, and just kind of like highlight with it, and then I um, and then I bake. And what I bake with is another one of my favorites, and it's kind of pricey, but it is worth the splurge. If you want your makeup to stay all day in the summer, this is so good. It's the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, and what I do, I'm sorry, my beauty blender is dirty, but I just... Um, dip it in and just like put it under your eyes and wherever else honestly during the summer if you are out for a full day and if you if money isn't like, isn't a thing for you or if you're just gonna be out there all I know not everyone's gonna be out in the sun all day but if you are one day use this for your entire face and it pretty much won't budge no matter how oily you are um, another one of my favorites is my Beauty Blender. I did try to go back to my Real Technique sponge, but honestly, like, I always go back to this and I always feel it's better, um, it absorbs less product. If you can see, like, all the product is just on the outside of it. It doesn't really seep into it, and then it just gets into my um, under eyes so well. Like, it gets right here. So I would recommend the Beauty Blender if you want to splurge. All right, there's a siren. I'm in LA. What else is new? But if you cannot afford to splurge, I don't know how much that powder is. It's kind of expensive. Um, if you want something cheaper, try this Wet n Wild mattifying. Uh, Wet n Wild mattifying powder. This is so good, and it'll give you the same matte just set your face in place all day so highly recommend that and it does kind of get start to get weird like the first couple of layers are really good and then it gets kind of weird when you get towards the bottom but honestly for like 75 percent of the product it's like three four dollars like it's worth it um next i have been loving these makeup geek gel liners and I have been loving these two colors specifically. This one is called Ocean, and it's like a mermaid color. I'm wearing it on my under eye, like my waterline. And then this one is oh, Obsidian. Obsidian. I really like these, and I feel like these are the best cruelty-free and vegan gel liner I have ever used. And I don't use them for actual eyeliner. I just use them in my waterline, and they stay. I would highly recommend these. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys right now. Um, if you go on the Makeup Geek site, they like kind of revamped it. So I like mentioned this. If you're part of my Snapchat fam, then you definitely probably saw this. But I will go and show you guys again. And it's easier to show this than it is to explain it. But okay, say we want to go into Foiled Shadows. Um, you can go to filter. I don't know if you guys are able to see this, but it'll say vegan, yes or no. So if you go to yes, it'll give you all of the vegan foiled shadows, which is amazing and it's a really easy way to just shop for vegan options. So that's awesome. And oops, speaking of makeup geek. They sent me a lot of their vegan products, and they sent me, like, a lot of their vegan shadows. You guys, they have so many options. Like, I'm wearing all Makeup Geek on my eyes right now, and the ones that I have been really loving 
um, this one called Friend Zone. It's kind of like a cool tone brown. And then today I used it to just kind of deepen. It's another cool tone. It's Brownie Points. Love that. And then I kind of mixed a few. I mixed Kaleidoscope which is a, what is it called? So Kaleidoscope is a duochrome. And then <clears throat> this is also Makeup Geek right here. And then here are some random, well, I think this one's Makeup Geek too that I already have. Yeah, these are just kind of random ones like from e.l.f. and whatnot. But they have so many vegan options and I would highly recommend Makeup Geek for eyeshadows. They're so nice. And then I have this other Z palette which has some stroke cosmetics in it. And then it has the Makeup Geek, the blushes, and the contours. And I would totally recommend these. These are so beautiful and just like buttery and creamy. Sticking with eyeshadows, I have been obsessed and I kind of like am sad that I didn't invest in this sooner. It is the Radioactive Stack by Melt Cosmetics. And, like, can you see? It's pretty well loved. Um, I know that it's kind of pricey, but I think that as far as vegan options go, this is really nice. Um, we don't really have that many options of, like, you know, I know that Urban Decay has the electric palette, but they are owned by a company that tests on animals, which if you, if you buy from companies, that are owned by a parent company who does, that's fine with me, but like personally I don't. So, and I know that like the Urban Decay, the Electra palette is not vegan, which was such a bummer when it came out because I couldn't get it, but this is so good and I would highly recommend this. And also, the Melt Rustac. This is so good. I love it. So, sorry these are messy, but I've been using them a lot. Um, this is just more like everyday, perfect, smoky eye kind of moment. So yeah. Um, then a couple other things before I get into the lipstick, which is just ridiculous. So, I have been loving this little perfume and it's almost gone. It's by Wild Ivy. It's called It's My Party. Bad girl perfume. I love it. Um, I love Wild Ivy. They are amazing. Most of their products are vegan, and I will link that. I'll link all this stuff down below just to make it easier for you guys. But if you don't like strange scents, I might not recommend them. But if you are into like weird things and like, um, you just can't find a scent that's like unique, definitely try Wild Ivy because they have some amazing and unique scents. Uh, next, this is like a constant favorite in my life and I love it and I can't live without it. I repurchased it a hundred million times and that's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. And you want to make sure that you get the tattoo liner. Come on. Come through focus. Or not. It's fine. It's cool. But um, the ink liner, people always complain about that it's not the best. You want to get the tattoo liner and it will change your life. Anyway, I've been going back to the Anastasia Dip Brow because I have it and I may as well just like try to use it up. Um, and it's on, I've used it like more days than not this month and I just like it because it stays really well like most of the day and this is in granite and it is kind of difficult to work with which is why I don't love it completely but you know I've been loving it this month and yeah I would I mean if you don't want to splurge on it I like the wet n wild brow kit a lot and I think it does the same kind of payoff but if you want to splurge on something definitely try the Anastasia brow for me pomade dip brow pomade and I know like everyone knows about it already and it's amazing whatever but it's one of my favorites this month and I never thought I would say that so keep trying it keep practicing with it if you don't love it and maybe it will become one of your favorites um next 
is this. Everyone talks about this. If you are a cruelty free beauty blogger, you know about this. And I've gotten a couple eyeshadow palettes lately that weren't the best. And they don't have the most high pigmentation. And I won't mention any names, but you know, I just don't want to be shady like that. I feel like every time I go on the internet lately, it's just like a whole bunch of shade. And I'm just like, I don't want to be part of that. So this all natural face fix it eyeshadow primer and finishing mist and what I do with this is I just spray it on the brush and then you know just use it just dip into the shadow and use it and also I really like this with this Anastasia glow kit which is definitely one of my favorites this month if you are fair and you cannot get any highlights to show up on your skin try this this is gleam it is perfect for pale skin but they have they have a glow kit for like every preference and every skin tone so definitely check that out and if you are having trouble with their, your eyeshadows or your highlighter showing up definitely try this um all natural face spray next let's talk about some brushes Honestly, these are like some of my all-time favorite brushes anyway, but this furless brush it is CB4. I cannot recommend this enough. Um, it is really nice. I don't like brushing on powder over foundation. I feel like it moves it around. So what I do with this brush is I just pack it into my skin, and I will go with this Wet n Wild the powder and just kind of, you know, just like that, like press it into my skin and it works so nicely especially during the hot weather when you don't want your makeup to move and this brush by Sigma it's the soft blend concealer brush and by the way not all of Sigma's products are vegan but some of them are and this is like the perfect eyeliner brush and I know it's for concealer but I, I find a lot of concealer brushes are really good for highlighter so, yeah. Next is this Furless MF3 brush, and I always, like, go back and forth with my contour, like, what kind of brush I want to use, but I have been loving this for my contour, and I highly recommend this. Next, I have the Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush, and I always change up my blush brush too but this one is super bomb and I highly recommend it um it doesn't pack on color too much which is really nice for just a, like a subtle blush if you're into that next I have this LAB 2 or squared um strokes of genius crease brush and I have been loving this to just kind of buff out the crease um or just get right in there and it's really kind of like dense, but it does such a good job and it will make your eyeshadow look 10 times better. Next, I I think this is the reason why I have been loving the dip brow so much, honestly, because I've been using the Anastasia 14 brush and this with the the pomade is just like perfection. So highly recommend that. And now, of the moments we've all been waiting for, I am such a lipstick junkie. It's like disgusting, but these are some of my favorites that I've been wearing a lot this month. And let's start with an oldie but a goodie. This is Requiem by Kat Von D, and I fucking love this. If you ever get one thing by Kat Von D, or if you ever get one color by Kat D, get this. It will be, it's, it, it, it's so good, it's so good. It's like a light, like muted lavender and it is so beautiful. Next, um, I am very happy that I got to try this solo look and Depeche Girl um, collaboration. And this is apparently the same formula that Depeche Girl is going to use in her new line, Cryptic Cosmetics. And this formula is the shit. It reminds me of Kat Von D. It doesn't budge. It is so good and it is so comfortable on your lips. And when you press it, like nothing comes off. And this is 
I cannot wait for Cryptic Cosmetics to come out because I need all my lipsticks to be this formula. Like, I love it so much. Like, Depeche Girl, Christina, you did such a good job. And I am so impressed. Next, um, one of my followers, Jess, reached out to me. And she does Jess Bright Beauty. And I really love this formula. It's a liquid lipstick as well. But it goes, it really reminds me of LA Splash. And I don't support LA Splash. If you want to know more about that, you can go check my Instagram from forever ago because it's on there somewhere. Or on my blog, being a beauty addict at wordpress.com. It's somewhere on there. Why I don't support them. But anyway, this reminds me of LA Splash. And I loved LA Splash formula. So the fact that I have this one and it like dries completely and it doesn't budge, I just I I love it. Highly recommend that. Um this is kind of like weird for me because I love liquid lipsticks so much, but Recently, Necromancy Cosmetica, they came out, they like relaunched and like redid their formula and all that. So I, I, got to, um, I got to try out four of them and I am so lucky and I love them and I love her so much. And my favorite two out of these four, because they're so weird, they're so unique, are Naked Witch and Less Strange. And I'm just gonna swatch them for you guys. I have some swatches on my Instagram, but this is Naked Witch and then Less Strange. Looks like that. And the like I've been doing it like the J Kissa way. I love J Kissa, but um she's been like mixing them both together and they are so beautiful. And I love it. And you know, if you guys need any tips or inspiration, go follow J Kiss on makeup because she is the shit. And I love her. Um next, I've been wearing like the same kind of colors, but Truffle and Stone by Dose of Colors. This is probably like one of my favorite formulas as well. And I wear these so often. When you mix these together, it also creates just like super beautiful color. Um, next is this Jordana Sweet Cream, and it's in Creme Brulee, and I feel like it's kind of, like, stone by those colors, but, like, a little bit more neutral and less pinky, um, and I love it. This is, like, three or five dollars in the formula. It's amazing. And I have saved my most favorite for last. And if you guys are part of my Snapchat fam, you know, you know, I went on about these for like 20 minutes because these are the best thing that have ever graced my lips and they are on there today. And that is the new collection from Ofra and it's the three metallic ones and Monaco, I don't know how to say this, Santorini and Versailles and... You guys need these. Like, that's all there is to it, basically. Like, I am wearing one. Well, I actually kind of mixed um, these two together. But, um, they're so good. And you can apply, like, multiple layers. And it doesn't get weird and, like, I don't know, sticky. And if you're used to, like, the Ofra formula, this is totally different. This is, like, they dry completely. They do not transfer. Um, these are so good. And they're just so freaking beautiful. I will swatch these for you guys as well. This is Versailles. And then this is Santorini. This is like the, the least um, metallic out of the three. But it's still like super pretty. I have been waiting for companies to make like a metallic with the lipstick forever. Because I used to use um, OCC all the time. And... I don't know, I just kind of like ran out of the color that I really liked, and I don't know if they still have it, but this is like my dream. That last one, this one is Mon Monaco, and these are so beautiful. If you guys want, I do have a code with Ofra, 
Um, I will put it down below. It's BGNBTY30. It'll get you 30% off. Um, it is an affiliate code, and if you guys use it, it will help me out. And I always appreciate when you guys use my codes, and I'll be able to, like, you know, create more content and stuff like that for you guys. But out of anything that Oprah has ever created, I think that these are, like, hands down my favorite ever and I have been telling everyone that they need to get them so yeah um that concludes my favorites video June 2016 my first ever favorites video hopefully it won't be my last one um sorry don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on Twitter snapchat Facebook whatever I'll link it all down below it'll be there um and I just wanted to say if if my makeup looks a little off today I had a lot of trouble doing it I don't know if it's the heat or whatever and then I tried doing my lashes weird in a way that I'm not used to so if it looks all fucked up like it's fine just carry on keep calm and carry on It's so hot. I have like, I never sweat, but I have so much sweat. TMI. So yeah. Um, see you guys next time. Bye.